Sorry, I meant to actually share the uh, picture with you. So, could there be any more signs? I'm not getting any goosebumps with this one. <laughs> but, um, so I looked up Coeur d'Alene, looked up Idaho, looked up, um, okay, so Carissa was like, I'm going to ask my mom the name of the school and I'm going to send it to you so that you can look at it. And I said, okay. So, I looked at it. And I was, like, reading about, like, the head instructor and his family. And then I was like, well, I'm going to click on other instructors. And this was the first instructor that was listed. Um, do we see his name? And I zoomed in. And I was like, okay, well, he's got a beard. He doesn't have the man bun. And he's not smiling. And I kind of want, like, the man bun and the smiling. Like, that's what I keep, like, getting synchronicities for is, like, seeing men with man buns and beards and smiles. And if they wear bright colored clothing, that's even better. And drive a Jeep. Yeah, I'm working on manifesting my Brian. So, I don't know if there's just, like, another sign that he's still coming. Because <laughs> I look, and I'm like, okay. So, I'll look. And I'm like, okay. Really? There's Brian. And he's got a beard. And I, like, zoom in. And look at the number that's on his gi. That's right. 22. Nice. So now what? Like, I'm not getting any goosebumps that that's my Brian. But the name Brian and the number 22? Like, really? At the school that Chris's mom, Barbara, and um, Sierra train at? I feel like this is like a... I put this... Um, I, I've been sharing these, these videos to a YouTube, you know, as like documentation of stuff about this all, you know, like manifesting and playing out. And, uh, I put on there that, um, what was I going to say? Um, what was I going to say? I put on there about manifesting in Brian I did put on there that on the way home from paddle boarding, I closed my eyes and I heard the name. I was like, okay. So like we had just gotten done paddle boarding and we were in Rachel's van and I can't remember the name of her van. Um, I got to ask her on the way home and I was like, saw two more license plates for Washington. I was like, okay. So I closed my eyes and I said, well, what is Washington? And I heard Brian's last name. I was like, okay. So, Okay. Um, and then, um, I totally don't remember what I was going to say, but I put that on underneath of one of the videos, um, about like following signs and stuff like that. And then seriously, like this and Brian in 22, like what, what, like, oh, that's what I put. That's what I was going to say. So this is kind of fun. Like, I know that as I get better, like, more... That's weird. Dave's calling me. Um, I'll call him right back. Because I want to finish leaving this. Um, and then I'll call him right back. So as I'm, like, get... As I get better at this stuff with following signs and synchronicities and just getting more in touch with my intuition and what it's trying to tell me... I know this stuff will come, like, a lot easier, you know? Like, just like, oh, okay, this is what you want me to do. Okay, this is what, like, I should do. This is what I should do. Like, those, like, moments of inspiration, aha moments, you know? Like, but for right now, this is kind of fun because it's kind of like a puzzle or, like, an escape room, you know, where you got to follow the clues. And I was like, this is actually kind of fun because I feel like it's like, okay, here's a clue. Here's a clue. Okay, now what? Now what? And I keep seeing the name Santana. Like, I've seen that twice today. Okay, so what significance does that mean? But, um, for right now, it's kind of fun. <laughs> but, really, the head instructor there is named Brian, and he's got the number 22 on his key. Okay, figured I'd share that. I love you.